Good day, everybody. How are you all? Today, we are going to talk about two proportions hypothesis test. So I'll share my computer screen with you. It says adults aged 18 years and older were randomly selected for a survey on obesity. Adults are considered obese if body mass index BMI is at least 30. The researchers wanted to determine if the proportion of women who are obese is less than the proportion of men who are obese. Use alpha equal to 0 0.01. So they have given a table where the, one of the first column is number who are obese. The second column is sample size. So, solution. So we go by the last line. It says researchers wanted to determine if the proportion of women who are obese is less than the proportion of men who are obese. So this is a, if you go on your calculator, stats, test, and this is a two prop Z test. So this is a, Two proportions, proportions, Z test, Z test, okay. Two proportions, Z test, okay. That one equal to men and two is equal to women, okay. So, So our alternate hypothesis is mu1 greater than mu2 because one is men or oh, I'm wrong. I have to erase this. This is proportion problem cannot be mu, right? So I'm mistaken. So, alternate hypothesis, this is H sub A is P1 greater than P2, okay? Proportion of obese men, P1 is proportion of obese men, of obese men, and P2 is proportion of obese women, of obese women. So, if that's your alternate hypothesis, then your null hypothesis is P1. It has always to contain an equal to sign. On top of that, it can be opposite of the sign in the alternate. So it is less equal to P2. Okay. So let me create some more space. And... Okay, <clears throat> so let's go to two samples. So we go stat, test. So let me write down. Here. Stat, then highlight test. And then we scroll down to two prop Z test. Okay. And hit enter. Okay. So the first thing, let me take some more space. <coughs> So in two probs Z test, the first line is X1. Remember one is men, number of successes in men who are obese. Here success is obese is 42 
62769. So type in 42769. Okay, N1 sample size for men is 155525. Then X2 is 67169. And N2 is 248.775. So X2 is the number of success in women who are obese, 67169, and N2 sample size of women, 218775. What is my alternate hypothesis? Greater than P2. So in the fifth line, bring the cursor on greater than P2 and hit enter. Then we go to calculate. So let me write down all these numbers. X1 is 42769. N1 is 155525. Okay. X2 is 67169. N2 is 248775. And the alternate P1 is greater than P2. And oops, 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 oops. Let me just that. Just give me a minute. So N2 is 248,775, and the alternate P1 is greater than P2. Greater than P2. Okay. And then we go to calculate, bring the cursor on calculate and hit enter. Hit enter. And the test statistic Z, the test statistic is 3.475. What does it mean? It means the sample proportion 1, P1 hat, is greater than P2 hat sample proportion 2 by 3.475 times the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of the difference P1 hat minus P2 hat. We also look at the corresponding P value. P is given as... 2.552. This is not the end of it because P cannot be greater than 1. So we look at the extreme right end of that line. It's E minus 4. What does it mean? It means point, then 1, 2, 3, 0. In the fourth place is the first number, 255. Five. Okay. This is your P value. What is the P value? Probability value. So P is equal to probability of getting a test statistic <coughs> as extreme as extreme as 3.475 now remember alpha is given as 0 0.01 this is given in the problem statement. So if we compare P with alpha, compare P with alpha, what do we get? P is less than alpha. Decision, reject H0. Reject H0. What is the conclusion? At alpha equal to 0 0.01. There is enough evidence to support enough evidence to support <coughs> what is my HA? P1 is greater than P2. Okay. This is one way of doing it. There is another way of doing it. So let me first create some space.
And let me go back here in the color of the book. So second way of doing, second way of solving the problem. Remember our null hypothesis is P1, let's make it P1 equal to P2, and alternate is P1 greater than P2. This is same as saying H0, P1 minus P2 equal to zero, and the alternate is P1 minus P2 greater than zero. Our alpha is 0 0.01, okay? So, we will do stat. We'll press the stat button in the calculator. And then the test. Okay, stat. Then test. Then we'll scroll down. Scroll down. To two prop. We keep scrolling down till we see two prop z interval. Two prop means proportion z int. Okay, and hit enter. Okay, so let me create some space. Okay, so all the co cells are already filled in two prop z int window all the spaces are filled is four two seven six nine this is the data from we had already entered n1 is 155 525 x2 is 67169 n2 is 248 775 remember our alpha is 0 0.01 so c is the complement is opposite of alpha a complement of alpha is 1 minus 0 0.01 is equal to 0 0.99. So change the C level to 0 0.99 because alpha is 0 0.01. And then we will calculate. Sorry, we write to need to know alpha. Uh, let me erase this. So let me erase this. So this is. So C level here, C level is 0 0.99, okay, that we have to type in, and then we calculate. Okay. And 99% confidence interval, confidence interval for P1 minus P2 is 0 0.0013 comma 0 0.0087. The 99% confidence interval for P1 minus P2 does not contain zero, does not contain zero. Decision, reject H0, same decision as before. Because the 99% confidence interval does not contain the hypothesized difference P1 minus P2 equal to zero, we reject H0 and conclusion is at alpha equal to 0 0.05, 0 0.01, sorry. There is enough evidence to support the alternate, enough evidence to support the alternate, to support HA. What is HA? P1 greater than P2, okay? So I'll stop here today. If you have any question or comment, please write me a note. I'll reply to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Please share this video with your friend if you like it. 
and you and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll come back next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Take care. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. See you next time.